welkom bij het Naturalis in Leiden. Tot en met zondag 29 mei 2016 is hier een heel bijzondere expositie te zien. We zijn hier bij de tentoonstelling Wildlife Photographer of the Year in Naturalis. En het is een onwaarschijnlijke kwaliteit natuurfoto's die je hier kan zien. Elk jaar doen er 10.000 fotografen mee, want iedereen wil ja, eigenlijk wereldkampioen natuurfotograaf uh, worden. En, uh, en uit die uh, 50.000 inzendingen maken ze een tentoonstelling van ongeveer 100 foto's, de 100 topfoto's. Het bijzondere is, er zitten helemaal geen zwakke foto's tussen. Het is allemaal top. Het zijn allemaal winnaars in hun eigen categorieën, maar de, de ene foto is nog mooier dan de andere. Mensen moeten echt deze tentoonstelling zien. Ze moeten het zien omdat ze de prachtigste foto's ter wereld uh, te zien krijgen. Wij willen graag dat mensen weer, weer verliefd worden op de natuur. En omdat ze van die natuur houden, denken van nou moeten we er misschien toch met z'n allen ietsje beter voor gaan zorgen. My name is Don Gatoski. I'm a Canadian citizen, born and raised. I took a photography course in high school. And uh, I've always loved the outdoors and animals and uh, the two have combined to make a, uh, a perfect hobby, which as you say, I'm very serious about. My real job is a physician in Canada. I'm an, I'm an emergency room physician. It's, it's every photographer's dream to, uh, to get a picture in this showing and to win the overall is just uh, uh, an incredible uh, accomplishment. The picture was taken near Churchill, Manitoba. It's in the far north of Canada. And I was there to take pictures of polar bears. While we were there, you can also see Arctic fox, the white one. And uh, we were surprised to actually find a red fox there. The red fox is moving north and now it's overlapping with the Arctic fox. As, as a result, uh, conflicts between the two occur. Uh, the shot actually was taken over uh, the, the entire encounter between the red fox and the arctic fox and we spent about two hours uh, photographing that event. Well, the, the symmetry of the two fox heads, the eyes and, and the tails and, the, and just the, the whole composition um, is what makes the photograph special. It symbolizes um, for me the fact that global warming is happening. Well, I think with nature photography, you have to spend time. You have to know your subject and you have to know your equipment. And then you have to spend time out there and just be ready for whatever comes along. Um, you can set up for a certain type of wildlife, but just be prepared for whatever happens. I just find that people are so, uh, um, you know, artistic in their thinking to get these different shots of animals and how they uh, how they do the setups and and everything else. And and every time I see this competition every year, I learn uh, the way other people think about photography and how they approach it. The uh, leopard taking down the uh, uh, springbok uh, in the uh, savanna. Is, is a very special shot. I felt that one was an incredibly difficult photograph to get. Through the lens, you, you uh, focus directly on your subject. So you're, you're just narrowed right in on what you're viewing and what you're photographing. You're looking at the light, you're looking at the background, and you're looking at the behavior. And you're trying to uh, coordinate all that into an image that um, speaks this exhibition is just an incredible experience. You will see some amazing photographs of nature, just starting as an amateur right up to a, a full-fledged professional photographer. You can learn stuff from this exhibition um, as you walk through the uh, amazing photographs here.